Good afternoon from Disney Springs. <laughs> we're on a date. We are, and I just want to say, I know that last time we were here, I said the next time we you come to- You pinky promise. I know, I said I would bring my pin trading lanyard the next time we come, but this was like a totally unplanned thing, and we're not gonna be here for very long. Right. And we have something fun planned later, so that's why I didn't bring it. Well, we can tell you what we're doing later. Oh yeah, what are we doing? We're going to see Cirque du Soleil drawn to life. Yes. They invited us out to see the show and mm -hmm. tell you guys our thoughts on it. Yeah. So that's where we're headed at 5.30, but we also made some reservations over at Boathouse for a quick little like dinner beforehand. We haven't been to Boathouse in a while. Right. So this will be nice. And it's not like super hot. I mean, it's hot, but it's not as hot as it has been. We were driving over here in the car and I was like, look at the temperature. It says it's 100 <laughs> degrees outside. But it's still like... In the shade, it's not so bad. Yeah. A little it, bit of a breeze blowing. I think it'll be okay. So yeah. they have really nice outdoor seating on the water. That'll be nice. Yeah. So yeah, I'm super excited about tonight. Uh, hopefully we'll have some time to maybe look at some new stuff too. Maybe. I wanted to go to World of Disney, but I don't know if we'll make it over that way. Ooh. We'll see. We can we'll see, see the magic band. We'll see where the night takes us. Oh. Let's do it. <laughs> also, as we're walking towards Boathouse, we're passing yeah. by Chicken Guy, and they did just expand all of their indoor seating. When so they took over the store from Planet Hollywood, and so now it is indoor seating for Chicken Guy. And when they originally did that, we thought that they were going to have a walk-up window. I mean, I guess it makes sense. You want more indoor seat, like that's less hot. Right. I wonder how it feels up in characters of flight right now. Like, is it nice and cool up there, or is it just as hot as it is down here? It doesn't. It's like not moving around very much. Oh, yeah. So I feel like no breeze at all. Yeah. Today's the day where I wish we could jump in there. Right? <laughs> when this place first opened, I was amazed by how good this looks and how good it stayed looking. You think this is that like Lagoon Company? Maybe Crystal wanna, Lagoon or whatever? Maybe the ones that are doing the one out in California. Storybook, storybook Living? Yeah. Yeah. I want to have a pool like that. Yeah. Wouldn't that be nice? It'd be awesome. Yeah. We're almost there. One thing we have to do when it gets cooler is do one of the amphi cars. You think Jackson would like that? I think he would love it. I think yeah. I don't, I don't know if we would show it to him beforehand or no. just like surprise him. Let him think that we're driving into the water. That's, I'm just kidding. I'm excited for Boathouse. All right, here we go. What does it say? Great food, waterfront dining, and dream boats. But also I wanted to That's just you. I'm a dream boat? Yeah. I'm a dream boat. No, you're a dream boat. Um, I wanted to mention we made reservations in the car in the parking garage. Yeah. So. We did it. Try that. If, if you're in the, like if you're thinking you want to come here, you can make reservations like today. Like po it's possibly. Maybe, maybe, yeah. One of the things about Boathouse is they have an oyster bar and all the oysters are right here. I've never had oyster before. Oh, they have shrimp here too. This one's huge, this great white one. Wow. Pink Moon. They have fun names too. Oh, so when these you, sponges. When you stay concierge on a Disney cruise, you get these in your bathroom. And oh, okay. you get this scent specifically, beachgrass, and they're amazing. I love these. It's an exfoliating. How much is it? Fifteen dollars. Fifteen bucks. But I didn't know you could buy them at the boathouse. You don't even have to pay for concierge on the cruise. Right? There's like a lot of other scents. What are the ones inside the boxes? Oh, I don't know. Special ones. Right? Sparkly. I don't know. Interesting. Oh, this one's for your for your chakra. Costs more. Oh, okay. Our table's ready. Oh. We're the only ones outside on this entire patio. But it's nice. Look, there's the boats going by, the cars going by. So when we were walking up, there was a family getting out of the amphicar, um, and I asked them. There was a family getting out of the amphicar, and I asked them like, how hot was it? Because it's very hot out, and you're on the water, so it's just like reflecting. Yeah. They said it was really hot, but they do have umbrellas, so like, you know, to shade you from the sun. Yeah. But they didn't use them because they wanted like the full view. So here's what I suggest. What? I suggest doing it in the winter time when the sun sets earlier. Okay. Do it at sunset when it's cooler out. You will Thank enjoy you. yourself much more. Ooh, they already brought us out some butter. Look at how soaked in the like honey is. <laughs> Ooh, do you like pina coladas? You know, I actually don't. Oh. I know. What about getting caught in the rain? I hate it. And me too. I'm like, I'm the opposite of Drew Barrymore. Oh, <laughs> yeah. I think that's like a, a, a very topical Thing. Nobody's gonna no, get that. No, it's like... not. That was like a two weeks ago. Oh, really? Yeah, you're behind. <laughs> it's gone now. I think that's like just having a toddler. I can't keep on track of... You I don't can't... know the memes. I, I really don't. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. Ooh. Oh, I thought it was going to be like dueling uh, amphicars. It seems like it'd be a pretty fun job though, is like driving the cars around the lake here. Do they have to 
are, are the cones for the amphipars? Well, yeah, they're buoys. Oh, I like that they look like cones. Yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah this song's not very good, is it? This song? Yeah, it's like he, he takes out an ad yeah. to try to find another lady. Yeah, he's like trying to cheat on his wife. And, and then, then his he... wife takes an ad, like responds to it and yeah. then they just end up with like oh you i feel like this is just like a rom-com yeah you know so boathouse is kind of known for their oysters i showed the oyster bar earlier oh yeah so they have an oyster that they always have on special it's the lucky ducks like the ux and then our server was telling us that they bought out the farm yeah the head chef wrote a personal check yeah. not boathouse like the head he, chef he liked them so much wow that's pretty amazing so if right? you like oysters i feel like you should try that one specifically well, he said it's the only place in the country that you can get it yeah you can only get it here right so that's kind of like neat i didn't know that yeah, he and bought was, the farm <laughs> is that like what do people say when that's they, when you die no <laughs> <laughs> He didn't die if he just really likes the oysters. Yeah. From one corner to another. I thought it was from one corner to another, but it's from one lover to another. Oh, is it? That's what that's what Dolly just said. All these songs are about cheating. Is, is it? Is that what it is? No. Islands in the stream. Yeah, we're just two islands in a stream. Mm. We're just well, not chasing say, waterfalls. Okay. Um, I wanted to mention, though, I love the playlist, love the bread, Yeah. love the scenery. Love the scenery. This is Saratoga Springs, by the way. So if you're looking for a Disney resort that is within walking distance of Disney Springs, that is Saratoga Springs. But Saratoga Springs is also huge. Hi. So like, you could be staying in this in this building and you could uh, walk to Disney Springs very fast. But if you're staying in the tree houses, they're like down the river a ways. So it would take you probably like 20 minutes to get to Disney Springs. What did you get here? I just got the garden salad and they do, it's like cucumbers, tomatoes, carrots, and then they do their own herb dressing in-house. Who's singing this? Um, Janet Jackson. Oh, okay. This is a really good playlist. Right? Also mm. on Sunday, they have like dueling pianos mm. and they do yacht they do rock. The, the brunch, yeah. Yeah. I think you came for the brunch once. Yeah, but it you was didn't delicious. sit by the piano. No. But we, we could gotta, hear it though. We gotta come back. Did I come for brunch? I don't remember. I don't remember either. We gotta come back. We do. We gotta go back. Well, I thought for a second the Amphicar was gonna race the other boat. Well, they are, they're racing. Yeah, did you hear them rev it up? I think it's interesting because I think the Amphicar's throttle is still on the pedal. And the, the steering wheel still is the rudder when it's in the car. I'd like to drive one one day. An Amphicar? Yeah. Wasn't there, your dad always, every time we talk about Amphicars, your dad says there was a president who had one and would like trick people. He would just drive it into the lake. Yeah. He would act like the brakes went out. And just drive his and car. And just drive with Which like dignitaries. I feel like it was like FDR or something. Hmm. It sounds like a Roosevelt thing to do, but I don't think it was Roosevelt because he's too old. When did Amphicars be, like when did they? 50s. Mm, okay. Who, whose idea was that? Mr. Amphicar? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> I also wanted to mention, in this lake sometimes you'll see otters. Oh yeah, yeah so that's true. Keep your cool. eyes open. Yeah, if you get an Amphicar, or if you ride on one of those those boats. That's true. I feel like the boats would scare them away. Mm -hmm. I would suggest staying at Saratoga Springs or walking over to Saratoga Springs in the morning and just kind of like hanging out on the shore when there's not as much water traffic. Yeah. I would say also the salad is really good. It's very um, herby because it's an oh. herb vinaigrette, but it's like extra herby. Like a love bug. I like it. No, that's herby. Oh. <laughs> the channel really has some bangers on it, doesn't it? I was just looking up like what is rot yak. Yacht rock? I was going to call it rot yak. <laughs> rot yak. Well, what is rot yak? <laughs> I don't know. Don't that's a, that's a, a bad investment is what that Google is. That. <laughs> yeah. But I was looking it up because I'm like, I like this this playlist. Is this yacht rock? And I guess it, it is, yeah. Which a makes lot of sense. it is. Yeah. It's the um, West Coast sound. I'm just yeah. making it. I like, I like, but I heard it. It's really that. good. It was like um, Stevie Nicks and like, you know, like, the, I, I don't Richie know. Richie Valens? Who? Richie Valens? Are you sure? That's oh, who sings La Bamba. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So I guess you are sure. <laughs> um, but let's show the food. The food just came. It's real. It looks good. Speaking of Yacht Rock, mm -hmm. this is called the Yacht Club and it's a club sandwich. It's got turkey, bacon, cheese, avocado, and he said cucumbers too with an aioli. Delish. Look at that. It's like cut, spilling out of the bread. It's so big. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, it did. <laughs> a, little piece, a little piece of oat fell on the table there. I also want to say the fries here are so good. Like they're thin, they're crispy, they're seasoned. And then I got the filet sliders. 
Oh yeah, so what they do is they just take a piece of filet and put it on a bun. But they also put the maitre d' butter on it, so it's like buttery, delicious. They're cooked medium, just in general. You can cook them whichever way you prefer, but they cook them medium, and it's like this little brioche bun. It's like just enough food, too. Yeah. So, and I also asked for some A1. I don't know if that's, like, is that rude? I don't know, but this is a Gibson's restaurant. Oh, yeah, so, so they have their special seasoning salt. Yeah, they said they cook everything with this seasoned salt. Yeah, pretty cool. I just wanted to say, this is so tender. Like, you know how you can get a steak sandwich and it can be chewy sometimes? Yeah. This is like the most tender, delicious piece of steak. What was that green stuff on there? That's part of the butter. Oh. The maitre d' butter, yeah. This, I'm getting all, all herbs today in my lunch. And you got a little pink lemonade? Yeah, I was going to say, I'm like living my best life right now. Yeah, steak and pink lemonade. <laughs> I love this. I'm just so happy to like be out on a date with you. Yeah. It's been a while. It has been a while. Yeah, when's the last time we did a date night? Hmm. The last time we came to Disney Springs. Was it? I think so. Oh. All right, all done at the boathouse. Delicious. I also want to mention our server's name was Mike. Phenomenal. Yeah, he was really good. He was so good. Yeah, so I highly recommend asking for Mike if you can. Yeah, he said he's only here two days a week though. So, so if you're lucky, you'll, yeah. you might get him. Lucky you get Mike. <laughs> but now we are headed over to Cirque du Soleil. Oh, but I also wanted to mention, so on my filet sliders, I noticed, or I, I told you guys that I asked for A1. Didn't even need it. Yeah. The flavor was amazing. The Delicious. butter. So good. Still no visible progress on Summer House on the Lake, but I'm sure we're gonna start seeing some vertical stuff happening soon. All right, we've made it over to Cirque du Soleil. People are lining up to buy their tickets. People are heading inside. I'm excited to see the show. Like I've seen previews of it and like little snippets of it, but I haven't seen the actual show. Did you see the other show, the first show? No. I've never seen Cirque du Soleil ever. Not like, not any show. Yeah. So this is like, I don't know what to expect. It's exciting. Yeah, I remember when I used to work retail, one of my managers, her like friend was one of the acrobat people in the show. And yeah. she said it was like mind blowing. You have to watch Ooh, it. And we never okay. got to see it. So I'm, I'm really interested because she really talked about. All right. So well, let's get inside. Yeah. It's some air conditioning. So the inside of the lobby here has all different principles of animation because the show does focus on animation. And the correlation is this is the first show put on with Disney and Cirque du Soleil. Also, they have these little seat pads to like raise the seats up for the kids. So Cirque du Soleil worked with Disney Animation in order to come up with this show. And so they're celebrating that with all of the different artwork and information throughout the lobby. And they have all kinds of fun merchandise too. Shirts and hats and bags and little plushy owls. And they have a full concession stand here too. Oh, an animator's dog. I could have gotten a hot dog. Or a Mickey pretzel, some painted popcorn, like colorful popcorn, cotton candy, theater candies, and then draft beers and wines. The ink blot, their own specialty drink, served in a souvenir cup. There's also this fun photo op with the name drawn to life here. And then there's a bench here that you can sit on and take a photo. Oh, they have like special pencils and stuff that you can buy for maybe animating and a little animator's book. Disney's Pencils, Pens, and Brushes. A Great Girl's Guide to Disney Animation. That's neat. Oh, that's cool. What is it? Oh, it's like a little pre pre-made like letter envelope thing? Yeah. Neat. Oh. Oh, and you just like, you fill it out. Yeah. And then like at a later date you can open it. You say what date you sealed it on and what date you opened it. Yeah. Neat. And these are all to your daughter. Oh, right. <laughs> Then there's another one that's like to my son. That's cool. Neat. But it's like a little, a little gift shop area. Yeah. I'm guessing one of the characters is an owl. Yeah, I saw that owl. Okay. Oh, you did? Not like, I saw the same plushie on my side. Oh. So one thing to note is that the bathrooms are on two different sides of the theater. So like yeah. the men's bathroom was over there and the women's bathroom is over by this gift shop. Okay. So there's like a little pre-act happening here before the show starts. So I'm to give you guys a look at the stage. Kind of hard because they have it all hazed out. What do you hear the music? Oh, but it looks like, like, paper. And there's like a live band up on stage, live musicians up there. Oh yeah, it does. It looks like a stack. Like you were on the animator's desk. I think that's the idea. All right, so the show is over and we were just kind of like meandering around looking at some of the merch. I didn't realize that this hat like, 
<laughs> they, can't, they couldn't see your knees. Oh, I was doing really. this. Because <laughs> that's what you got to do when the hat's dancing around like this. That's true. Right? <laughs> Look at this purse. It looks like an animated backpack. Animation is imagination. It's cool. It looks like it's like 2D. Yeah. It's like for your sketchbook. Right? Hey, you can buy the Disney sketchbook. All right, we just got out of Cirque du Soleil. Disney Springs is starting to hop. I mean, it's like it's starting to get starting to get hip hopping. There's a lot of people in here, you know, it's starting to get busy. That's what, yeah, I know that's what we just saw. One thing I like about Disney Springs, as it turns night, is there's so much live music out and about. Like there's a couple of people playing over here at Splitsville, just passing by Salt and Straw. I'm gonna have a look at their limited edition flavors. I wanted to try this one. Goat cheese and Marion Berry Habanero. That sounds wild. Yeah. Birthday cakes and blackberries. That's my favorite good. duo. <laughs> wild foraged berry slab pie. Who's got that job? Who's the wild forager? <laughs> Boysenberry oat milk sherbet. Uh, yogurt lassie with raspberries. What is this? What? E Epony. What? Isn't that a flower? Eponymous. Yeah, isn't there a flower called like epony? That's not what it says. What is it? Eponymous. Is epony not a word? No, that's peony. 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 So okay. What is this? I don't no, know. Yeah. We'll look it up. <laughs> okay. Juicy boysenberries coupled with a touch of oat milk make for this. I guess the it's name of it. The, the sherbet of the summer. It's pronounced eponymous. Eponymous. And it's a person, of a person, giving their name to something. Right. The eponymous hero of the novel. I or think of a thing named after a particular person. Who's it named after? That's a good question. It's named after Boysen. <laughs> Mr. Boysen? I'm confused. Sher Sherbert. Is that a person's <laughs> name? Her like Herbert? Maybe. All right, so we are all done with Cirque du Soleil. It was mind blowing. You know, I didn't think there, gonna, there was going to be like as much magic involved. There were the effects, it was like illusions. Yeah, it was amazing. Yeah, there were some things that I still don't understand what happened. And there, were even the kids behind us and the adults were like, "Well, now how are they doing that?" Right. You know, because there were certain things that you're like, "Okay, I can kind of see how this is happening," but then other things you're like, "Now wait a minute." <laughs> yeah. So like, I have the type of mind that likes to pick things apart. Mm -hmm. And that show kind of made me angry because there were things that I couldn't pick apart. Yeah, like you couldn't understand. Couldn't understand yeah. what they were doing. <laughs> and like how they did it. Yeah. There were some things that I was like, oh, okay. Uh, it's like on a track. And then they would pick it up and it's not on a track. And I'm like, yeah. what? <laughs> right. How did they? There were these characters that were like these little men that were carrying around trash cans. And I didn't understand how they worked. Right. At first I thought they were like puppets or I thought they were just people inside of them. But later on, I just, I was like, now wait, how are they moving on their own? Right. It just didn't make sense. They and went from carrying the garbage cans or the trash cans to yeah. pulling them behind them. Yeah, and there was no string, I thought, because people were running in front of them, I think, to right. show that there wasn't a string. Right. But then also, I didn't think that the show was going to be as emotional as it was right i did tear it up it starts out with a gut punch yeah so the, the story starts out with there's a young girl and her dad died right her name's julie she's yeah. the main character of the show yeah and basically her dad was an animator and he died and he says it's now it's my it's your it's your turn i'm passing the torch to you well he has this animation this three second animation and he says i haven't finished it you need to finish it right and that's the story that's what she's doing is she's finishing this animation and she's struggling thinking that she's not good enough yeah and so like one of the main character or the main the villain is like a crumpled up piece of paper it's, that is one of her drawings yeah it was like one of her frustrated like oh i didn't do this right throws it away and that becomes this like trash lady. Yeah. She was pretty funny. But then also, it, it was a funny show. There were tears. There were lots of moments of like actual laughter. Yeah. There were, I don't know what you call them, like the mimes, I yeah, guess. Yeah, they would be mimes. They were like the comic relief. They were really funny. It was just, it was a really great show. And there was a lot of um, 
acrobatics and just tumbling, yeah. flipping. I would call them stunts. I don't know if that's the right term that they yeah. would use, but like things that when you're watching them, you're going, oh, well, because there, okay. there was only one performer that was on a wire. Yeah. Everybody else was going like 40, 50 feet up in the air, untethered. Well, there was also a person that levitated. Yeah, well, she was she on was, a wire. She was like floating. But she was on a wire. Yeah, but at first you didn't realize she was on a wire. Right, right, yeah. So she just starts like floating through the air and you're like, how is this lady <laughs> floating in the air? It was a very magical show. It really was. Yeah. And it was neat to see the way that they tied Disney into it. Yes. And you like all the different animations and well, different characters. And you'll and, hear a lot of familiar songs that you know and you love. It and was, there are live musicians too. Yeah, that was really great. And the live singer. Yeah. Also, there is a lot happening. That's another thing that I thought was really interesting is that even when the really like cool stunts are happening, the cool acrobatics are happening, there's always somebody else in the background doing something. Right. Like there was a point in time where the pillow, there, there's a pillow and that's kind of like a main character in certain parts. It has real main character energy, this right. pillow. Like the rug from Aladdin. Yeah, but it was like doing things while you're supposed to be watching these like very talented performers. Right. And it's like pretending to be like lassoing. It's like got a little cowboy hat on trying to like lasso the performers. How so ridiculous do we sound? There's a pillow yeah. that's a character. It's not like a, it's not a person. It's an no. actual just small pillow. It's a pillow, yeah. That is a character. And it has a cowboy hat on and it has a lasso. And it's pretending to be a little cowboy and it's doing like a little cowboy dance. It was one of the like funnier moments of the show. Right? But yeah, it was it was really like, I recommend checking it out. I don't know that I would have ever seen the show had they not invited us out. I just didn't know that it was something that I would enjoy. Right. But I would definitely go back and pay for the show. I don't think that there are a lot of people that would not enjoy that. I don't know. I just it just never like appealed to me when I walked by. But now that I've seen it, I under I get it. Right. Yeah, because I had never seen it before. So I think what you're trying to say is take a chance on it. Yeah. You never know. I honestly, yeah, it was it was really neat. So I definitely recommend and I also want to say there wasn't like a bad seat in the house. No. That was the other thing that I thought was really cool because there's something happening everywhere because where we were sitting was kind of in like the lower part of the state like the lower bowl almost but if you were in the upper seats there were there were performers in between the lower and upper seats so I they, we actually missed some of the action because we were down lower right and they have screens up high so like there were points in the show where we were both kind of like looking yeah. up like this that would have just been straight on for the upper deck yeah there were things that like you wouldn't necessarily be able to see from the lower deck either because there was this acrobatic that like kind of, I don't even know how to explain it. There was a pencil hanging from the ceiling and he kind of like swung around on it. Yeah. But it tracked in real time on the floor, the motion of his pencil. And it kind like, of- Like he was drawing. Like he was drawing on a giant piece of paper. Yeah. And that was mind blowing to me because it was it was happening in real time. I thought he was yeah. following it, but no. No, it was- ha Then yeah. it started, he started doing it faster and then these little swirls were yeah. happening. So yeah, if you were sitting farther back, you would have gotten a better view of things like that. So there's really not a bad seat in the house. It's right. a pretty small theater. One thing that we wanted to mention is that they are offering a discount on select tickets for DVC members, annual pass holders, and Florida residents. And we'll put a link in the description down below with more information about booking tickets and these discounts. So all in all, a fantastic day. It was a great way to spend like a date night. Yeah. I really, really enjoyed it. Good dinner, good show. Yeah. Want to say thank you to Cirque du Soleil for having us out. Yeah. And with that being said, we are off, and we'll see you guys tomorrow. And, and now, now it's time, time to pay, pay the, the price. price.